welcome back everybody to another episode of the Chains of Satinoff of yours truly okay. You know what? I'm really enjoying this game, guys. I know some of the episodes are kind of dragging out. I really don't want them to. I kind of want to figure this stuff out on my own. And so we're gonna try that today again, alright? You know, it's it's just a little bit challenging if you know what I mean, alright? So last time we ran off, we and we hopped on the horse, all right, the old lady, she passed away, and we ended up all the way out here, so, all right, let's see here, we got some stuff around here, we got a shutter, we got a mechanism, we got the raven, the storm belt, okay, what is this mechanism? Strange contraption. The owner of the yard doesn't seem to be satisfied with a simple pull rope. Huh. Let's talk to him. Hail Rondra, Sir Knight. Could you kindly tell us where we are? This is the Thash Mountain Range. Ooh. Thash? So the blood barrier is not far off. It is but a short distance for a traveling knight. <laughs> for a farm boy and a maiden, it might prove quite a journey. I am no farmer. My maiden, you should seek protection from a proper man in these dangerous surroundings. What kind of a man? <laughs> I am Bogomil Vrathling, Knight of Andergast. At your service, fair maiden. <laughs> I am Nuri. This is my friend Geron. Nuri it is. What an extraordinary name. Alright, um... First... What business does a Knight of Andergast have in the Thash Mountains? The king put me in charge of observing the orc tribes of the Blood Barrier. You have traveled through the Blood Barrier? Of course, but now I have to return to Undergast. There has been some unrest amongst the Tolokai. I have to report to King Efferdan immediately. Alright, what about gear? We need some gear. A rope, blankets, provisions, everything that can be of use. Usually you can get those things from Graham. But the old pig head hides in his house and doesn't make a sound. I wouldn't trust that cutthroat anyway. Do you hear that, Gram? You are a cutthroat. All right, uh, scholar in the blood. Let's talk about Gram some more. Why does this Gram hide anyway? The stupid ox won't admit that I am right. Right? Right. He refuses to pay the dues he owes me. What dues? He's responsible for the death of my horse. Gave him spoiled fodder. So he died miserably. I'm in a hurry, but by foot alone I won't get far. Then take our horse. Sell the Carney's trailer. Why don't you buy this horse and carriage from us? What use is a Carney's trailer to me? But you can leave me your hack. What are you asking for it? I'm not really sure. <laughs> Make up your mind about the price. Then I'll tell you mine. Okay. <clears throat> what about the scholar in the blood barrier? Did you run into an explorer in the blood barrier near a red lake? Huh, red lake. No, but if he came from the south, he must have been through here. All right, quit. We have to find Rondra out what we can sell. with you, Sir Knight. And with you. Uh, thank you, Ranja the Sir Knight. All right, so we have to figure out what we have to do with this thing right here. All right, let's talk to the raven. Raven, after being a good scout for us these last few days, Nuri has asked me to be nicer to you. What do you think? Will you be able to do that? I'll try. How about you? Hmm, we'll see. Alright, current situation. We were able to escape the seer's creatures and have come a long way. Fate might smile on us favorably. Now we're back in charge. Well, well. Fate. What do you think that is? Fate. The will of the gods. And you think you can bend the will of the gods to fit your agenda? Uh... Deny it? No, be honest. Every man follows his destiny. It's something the gods let us pursue. What's your destiny, then? At least it's not being a cursed bad luck charmer. I'm responsible for the pursuit of my own happiness. Don't you fear the prophecy? 
What if your doom is inevitable? My future hasn't been decided yet. No one ever escapes from Satinav's boundless gaze. Okay, what about, uh, news of the creatures? Have you seen if those demons are still following us? Didn't you shake them off? I think I did. I could be wrong, though. They are mighty creatures of the seer. I didn't see anyone following us on my scouting flights. Good. <clears throat> but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Don't start raining on my parade. Okay, or what about Satinov? Did we just... Tell me more about Satinov. He's known by... Oh, Nathan Satinov. Okay. The Thirteen Horned. The Irresistible. The Helmsman of the Barge of Time. He once was a mighty <coughs> magician. Or even a demigod. The gods chained him to the Barge of Time. Because he tried to be the master over his own future. They say the gods don't like people to determine their own fate. Like Satinaf, we mortals are chained to time. In that case, I will have to break those chains. Quit. I'll have a further look around. Alright, hold space. And let's go inside our trailer real quick. Alright, is there anything of use in here? Yeah, let's make sure we get everything. I'll just take it all. All right, uh, take the drumstick. Uh, take whatever this is, the tin bottle. Never again will the puppeteer tell this story, and that's my fault. Maybe I really am a bad luck charm. Oh, you're such a... There you go. Well, let's go. Wait a second, can we do anything with these puppets? Let's see if we can combine any of this stuff. Tin bottle and a drumstick, lid, and a staff of bells. Nope. Okay, um, a lid. A staff of bells. Nope. Okay. The lid with anything? Do, 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 do. Nope. Drumstick with anything? Nope. And the tin bottle. Alright, we have to figure out how to get that. The reins? No. Alright. Um, tin bottle ain't gonna work. A drumstick? Can we beat it up? Nope. <laughs> um, what about a lid? Put a hat on it? Nope. Okay. Staff of bells? Nope. Okay. Let's go outside. I don't know what to do with that puppet then. <laughs> it can just stay there. Um... Futile, my boy. That's a dwarf's job. What's outside? Alright, we got... An, a oneberry bush. Too far away. And a raven which is chilling right here. A mechanism. Strange contraption. The owner of the yard. Okay, yeah, we just heard him say that. All right, a drumstick maybe? No. We'll hold it over everything, see if anything pops up. All right, down, let's see what else we got. We got the reins. Nope, 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 and nope, okay, nope. <gasps> Aha! Strange contraption. The owner of the yard. All right, we just heard that. So we put the reins on there. Fits exactly. Fire! Murder! <laughs> the orcs are attacking! What are you lot still doing here? Scram before the black furs get here. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like you've been fooled, Sir Dwarf. The boy has sounded the bell. 
There are no orcs attacking. What? What's going on in your wooden head, boy? Sounds the alarm without good cause and forces an honest dwarf out of his warm and comfy chair. I can't believe it. I just wanted to... You didn't answer the door, sir. Well, forget it. But you can cut out the formal hogwash while we're at it. Who are you, anyway? I am Geron of Andergast. From Andergast? Just like this one there? Very well, then. My name is Graham. Grandoline's son. And this is Graham's open house. Open house? Pfft. What do you want, Geron of Andergast? Huh, let's see here. Uh, let's first off, let's talk about your argument with the scholar. What kind of argument do you and the knight have anyway? I have no idea what you're talking about. The knight says you poisoned his horse. Why, that's what he did. Shut your face, Raffling! Bah! Okay. Let's stay out of it for well, right now. Well, never mind. It's none of my business. You're not so stupid. Okay, gear. We need gear and provisions for our journey. That means a good length of rope, blankets, water... Very well! That'll be one ducat, please. What? That's much too expensive. By Fex and Angrosh, do you think this stuff grows under the rocks around here? Too expensive? I can't believe it. But... You can ask again as so Okay, offer horse and trailer. I'll sell you the horse and the trailer. Nah, don't bother. I don't care much for hacks and what they drag around with them. <clears throat> All right, fairy We're scholar. looking for a wise man who is said to be in the blood barrier at the moment, near a red lake. One of those weirdos, eh? I remember one of them coming through here. Wanted to buy all sorts of stuff from me. Lots of obscure rubbish. Do you know exactly where I can find him? Yes. I'll tell you if you can offer me something in exchange. Finally, we're you getting rub somewhere. My back, I rob yours, understand? There you have it, my boy. The dwarf is a cutthroat. No, he's not. Will you it's got business. take care of your swine? Yeah. Hmm. Insist on information about... Alright, let's just quit for right... it. Then. Okay, so... Drumstick won't work on him, won't work on him. Not the horse. What all do we got? We got a... A bell, alright, we managed to ring the bell. Um, a lid. All right, mate, let's go talk to Nori. Listen. Um, attack Nori's light magic. What kind of magic was that that you saved us with? That was the power of the moonlight. It is like fire to the sad fairies. It burns them. Sad fairies? What do you mean, sad fairies? I felt that they once were just like me. And now they are sad? Sure. If fairies lose their command over magic, they don't die but get consumed by darkness instead. Aww. And they're sad and will never be able to laugh again. To me, they seemed like mean fiends who have Isidore's blood on their hands. You're they're a sad jerk. nonetheless. Believe me. All right. Your magic is fatal, even for you, isn't it? You almost got burned by it yourself. I didn't want you to die. Thank you, Neri. What are we going to do now? Um, seer and fairies. Why do those mean fairies serve the seer? He must have put a spell on them. <laughs> and please stop talking about this subject. It's making me sad. Oh, we're sorry. All right, um, what about attack? How are you doing? I am sad that a cedar is gone. I hope these terrors will come to an end soon. That's why we're looking for the fairy scholar. To prevent worse things from happening. All right, and gear. We need some gear before we can move on. That's all right. I can do with a little rest. Very well. Let's carry on later. All right, well, at least we talked to Nori. Um, a tin bottle.
Uh, okay, you know what? Let's just see. What is all this? What's Why down here? We move on. When I don't have the slightest idea where this red lake is. Besides, without any proper gear, we won't last two days in the blood barrier. Okay, so we can't leave. We have to. One berry bush. It's too far away. Okay, knife, lid, drumstick, tin bottle. Oh, wait. What all can we do with this? Sir Knight Rathling. What is it, my boy? I'll sell you the horse for one ducat. Oh, I'm a dork. <laughs> That old nag isn't worth more than half a ducat. And that would be the deal of your life, my boy. So do we have a deal? No, we need one ducat. Well, my offer still stands. Horse for one ducat. I'll sell you the horse for one ducat. <laughs> that old nag isn't worth more than half a ducat. And that would be the deal of your life, my boy. So do we have a deal? No, we need one ducat. Well, my offer still stands. <clears throat> I guess we'll have to move on without any gear, Nuri. But I thought we couldn't go on without. To venture into the blood barrier with insufficient means, that would be foolish. But we don't have any money, and you refuse to give us enough for the horse. Bah! Okay. Help for Nori. To the night, help for... To Nori, dark creatures. Remind Nori of home. I wonder what your friends at home are doing at the moment. Why? Well, they're all alone now, and they surely miss you. All alone? <gasps> Miss Greenberg, we have to go back and fetch them. No, we can't go back now. Do you want to run directly into the creature's claws? We have to find the fairy scholar. He will help us. And then we can fetch Mrs. Greenbald and the rest. Miss Greenbald. Ah! Don't you want to help Nuri, good Sir Knight Rathling? Oh my! What's wrong with her? She's sad that we can't go on. What can I do for you, Nuri? Miss Greenbald. How can I help? The knight's gear. Um. Please help us out with one ducat, good sir knight. Half a ducat for the horse and half a ducat to make Nuri smile again. <laughs> I think you've got me, my boy. No gold in the world is spent in vain if it makes beauty smile again. Here you go. I thank you, good knight. So we can travel soon? Yes, yes we can. This Greenbelt won't have to wait much longer. Yes, that's the spirit, my girl. Say, don't you want to stay with me after all? Not on your life. <laughs> yeah, right. You're not getting this fairy girl. All right. Do the exchange. Are we done? Cool. All right, one ducat. Here's the money for the gear. Wonderful. Here's your stuff. It's exceptional quality. Good value, too. I sure hope so, dwarf. Hmm. I'll give you some advice for free. When you go into the blood barrier, you'd better not burden yourself with too much stuff. You'll feel every ounce in your bones up in the mountains. Yes, I know that. Or can I talk what to you about something you real want? quick? Um, it's just on in. Where is the fairy scholar, pray tell? Do you have anything nice to offer me in exchange? Um. In that case, I have no idea where the chap is. I'll leave you to it then. I actually might have something nice to offer you. Let's see here. What do we got here? We got rope. We got flintstone. And we got water. We got blankets. We got a lid. We got a drumstick. We got a knife. We got everything. Let's, let's go. Let's get out of here. When will we move on? I don't have the slightest idea where this red lake is. <sighs> uh, 
Oh, talk to the freaking bird. Alright, um, yeah. Um, Raven? Sad fairies. Nuri thinks that the seer's creatures were wicked fairies. How come he's got such a strong relation to fairies? You're barking up the wrong tree. Does he plan to make her a wicked fairy as well? Hmm, possibly. Oh, that won't help at all. Oh, no, 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 you're not turning my fairy I'll have dark. a further look around. Alright, we got everything that we need. Let's... Do, 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 do. We need this, whatever this is up here. We need to be able to get to it. Um, can we combine anything? We got flint and stone. We got... Um, tin bottle and this. No. I don't think so. Yeah, I didn't think so either. Um... See if anything can fit together. No. Tin bottle. Nope. Um, Flintstone and tinder. Water bladder. Alright. Can we use this for anything? Sir Knight Rathling. What is it, my boy? Quit. Rondra be with you, Sir Knight. And with you. All right, I guess we got to talk to Nori because we do have everything. Listen. Let's carry on later. All right, what else is there? There's a mechanism, there's a raven, there's the bell. I can't reach it. Oh, my goodness. Do, 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 do. Oh. Hey, keep your paws off my Jenna Creek blue shine beard dye. Do you think my beard gets groomed by air and darkness alone? You'd better leave the stuff to this dandy boy. It's his most beloved possession. Hmm. Okay, if it's his most beloved beloved possession, can we use What? No! <laughs> I angrush and all the beard critters. My beautiful Jenna Creek Blue Shine beard dye. Who did that? Perhaps Angrosh himself has punished you for your vanity, Sir Dwarf. What will my beard have to say to that? <laughs> Glass shards. Smells like juniper berries. Juniper berries. Sir Knight Rathling. What is it, my boy? Do we get an option for juniper berries? Roger no. Roger be with you, Sir Knight. And with you. Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. Alright, smells like juniper berries. Can we... I don't want to use that. What about the lid? Smells like juniper berries. What do you want? Where is the fairy scholar, pray tell? Do you have anything nice to offer me in exchange? Um... In that case, I have no idea where the chap is. Oh my goodness, you are annoying. Uh, to it then. So we gotta figure out how to, uh... Knife, lid, tin bottle, rope... <laughs> Foolish greatling! The honor of sounding the bell belongs to a dwarf of Sabaram's ancestry alone! <laughs> well, maybe you should stop being such a jerk. 
All right, um, what else do we got here? We got... Dwarves hate magic, and he won't get his beard dye back this way either. Uh, so we need, we need to help him get his dye back. Well, how do we get to this? One berry bush. I can't reach it. Not a single berry is falling down, as always. What else is no? All right, can we use this anywhere else? You know what? Why do I got a feeling that... All right, talk to the raven. Um, raven? One berries. Do you see the flower box at the dwarf's house up there? I see him. There are one berries in there. Can you fly up there and get me some? Do you need a healing remedy? Are you injured? Um... No, but they are great for wounds. We should be prepared for all possibilities on our journey. All right, then. Oh, cool! There we go! Let's go get- let's go pick those up. Alright, um, I'm a bit of a loss at what we do here. Alright, let's hit space bar. I think we have everything. Except for this, glass shards. Dwarves hate magic, and he won't get his beard dye back this way either. All right, well, we do have everything. Go talk to him. What do you want? I'll leave you. <sighs> You're annoying. You know that? You really are annoying. Nope. 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 Uh, nope. That ain't going to work. All right, let's go inside the carriage. Let's see if there's anything in here we can grab. No, there's nothing. All right. Can you take the puppet, please? Never again will the puppeteer tell this story, and that's my fault. Maybe I really am a bad luck. All right, you worry too much, Eric. Come on, come on. Bring this up, and let's light this place on fire. Nope, okay. Uh, tin bottle? Nope, nothing. Okay. Uh, drumstick? Nope, we're not going to play the drums for it. Alright, outside. <laughs> I'm missing something here. I know I am. Talk to Nori. I think we have everything now. Listen. Quit. Let's carry on later. What am I missing? Sir Knight Rathling. What is it, my boy? Quit. All right. Rondra and with. All right. That's enough for this. Uh, we gotta get going. What do you want? Where is the fairy scholar, pray tell? Do you have anything nice to offer me in exchange? Um... In that case, I have... I'll leave you to it, then. Mm. Alright, there must be something in our inventory we can give him. Um, one berries... This will yield nothing. Water, water, flint and stone... One berries... Can Something has to, uh, this has to go with something in here. Nope, 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 nope. Aha! Now all I have to do is squeeze the berries. Okay, so... What is this now? Lid with berries. How do I fill it? 
Lid with one berry juice. Good old Goratian Bluebeard die. Ha <laughs> ha All right, so... Can you make use of this, uh, Goratian beard tonic? I'll give it to you for some information. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see it. Goratian? Hmm. I guess this will have to make do until I can get my hands on the real stuff again. So, what do you want to know? Oh my goodness. Where exactly has the scholar gone? He babbled something about a cave to the north of a big orc statue, near a red lake. He couldn't wait to get there. His imp had made a mess of my whole shop. Yeah, where the hell is my pen? That's what I'm digging for right now. Um, Thash Mountains. How do we get to this cave? First you travel north, through the Screech Owl Forest, or better yet, past Bloodthorn Hollow. Oh, never mind. I'll show you on the map. Okay, um... When did the fairy scholar pass through here? Ah, uh, that must have been a month ago. Wanted to stay the winter in the Blood Barrier. I called him crazy. All his imp had for me was a dirty laugh. Imp, okay. Ask about the imp. What is an imp doing with a fairy scholar? How the hell should I know? That was an unholy, uninhibited, nasty little imp. Ugly and mean. My shop still reeks of his foul mouth. Why, thank you, Master Dwarf. <gasps> All right, let's roll out. I do believe we're ready. Let's talk to Nori and let's get out. Listen. Quit. Let's carry on later. Let's just go. Come on, Nuri. Let's move on. Come along, Raven. Yes! Achievement! Orc Splicer! The Blood <laughs> Barrier. Most impassable of all mountain ranges. What in the name of all twelve gods? had made the fairy scholar come here. There wasn't a single danger that didn't lurk here. Oh, look at him. He helping Nori. I bet Into these two what fall kind in love. Of barren land had he brought to Nuri. The orcs called these mountains Gravish's Claws. And of all the black furs, the most horrible tribe called this its home. They took their captured prisoners to the caves of Orakar and hunted them to death. That's what was said of the bloodthirsty Zolochai. And the path led straight through their camp. into the shadows. They can't see us here. That's a whole camp of orcs. If they find us, we're dead. Raven! Go on, report. <laughs> and crawl a little less loudly, if you will. <laughs> the Red Lake is behind this ridge, but the orcs are everywhere. They are here to perform a ritual. <laughs> It will take days for them to finish it and leave. No Red Lake, then? 
nonsense. We haven't journeyed through the blood barrier for days just to turn back now. You want to save the fairy, yet you risk her death. I thought Nuri could trust you. Hmm. But you're doing exactly what Gwyndling asked you to. I... Don't worry, Raven. Garen knows exactly what to do. Don't you, Garen? Of course I do. I'll get you to the fairy scholar in one piece. This can't be true. The orcs will rip us apart. You'd better hurry. Ushai Orkash Droshak Schnach Tairach Groch Reut Haku Skor Israk Taika Karek Tairach Haku Groch Sirkoi Mork Ke in Groch Groch Tairach Narul Groch Tairach Sor Urkash Aroi Knach Tukar Mush Haku Atervas Borok Yanok Bray Saksha Raspra Karai Koka Rakoira Hawkash Are we back on the screen? Alright. So it does look like we got orcs in here, we got some rubbish and stuff and things. Alright guys, let's Stupid orcs, shut up! Orc shield. Oh. A wooden board, rubbish, a fodder bag, a, a pony, and then we got orc shield. Oh my goodness, we got. Ooh, there's food in here too. Orcs. A bracelet, a raven, and nori. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to end the episode here and we can listen to these orcs next time. Take care, have yourself a wonderful day. I'm out of here. Later.